Since I never met my grandfather, so I had it was just some stories from my dad of how well respected he was in Hong Kong and all the stuff he does. Yeah, 雖然不是家庭是自己喜歡自己愛好但是他喜歡的東西就是為了公眾的他的傳達的游水池也不是那些不是那些正式游水池有 不是耶穌,你不能夠三年 I think for in terms of like heritage, we need to find the one thing that will just all of a sudden snap everybody awake and go, wait, hold on, what are we doing? We can't keep destroying everything. I mean, Hong Kong has been so bent up on modernization, globalization, and kind of like, oh, let's build this into the most modern city possible. It's that they haven't realized that they've had to like, you know, steamroll half of the historical sites that we've had to get there. My dad first told me that they had to sell the garden. I almost had like a childlike moment where I'll, I just didn't get it. I mean, there was just no no reason for it to go. It's like our heritage and it's like our family place and so many people have spent their time there that there's no reason for you to get rid of something like that. And then more and more people were talking about it and then the news story started popping up and the public certainly helped. And it also helped the government to see that kind of response and go, you know, people are understanding this too. And then so my dad made his decision to try to stop the sale. I think once he got the ball rolling and then quickly everything just kind of just fell into place. And then we had Cynthia's support and we had more people speaking about it and then we're talking to the government and other people that we knew and it, it just it just worked out. The work ahead of us is to uh, conserve the garden to open to the public and that's the wish of my uncle who now owns the garden. It's wonderful that the community is uh, coming forth with great ideas on how to fundraise, how to support uh, the conservation of uh, our heritage in Hong Kong. And the Cat Street Gallery has come forth with eight artists from all over the world. And they came in to experience the garden and come up with these great creative ideas. I really look forward to seeing the different uh, views, perspectives, the artistic visions of the different artists and photographers, and how they see a Dragon Garden in their eyes. Look at, look at the, the view with, art, yeah, with one eye. Look at the frame. So your world is a square world. Okay, like this. After visiting the Dragon Garden, I was uh, struck by the, the, the context in, what the, in which the garden sits. You know, it's surrounded by these high rise and the whole story behind the garden. really really interesting is that you know in every culture the dragon exists as a mythical creature but what's also interesting in every culture is that they usually take different parts of animals that they know and then combine them to form their idea of a dragon. Visiting the dragon garden was very inspiring and allowed me to create these uh, pieces of work and hopefully everyone will get a chance to see the dragon garden for themselves. When I think of it I can't, I can't just express enough how inviting and how inspiring the garden is. It's like a great place for people just to learn about 
architecture and nature and for culture. If you take that one pavilion that, you, that next to that little pond when you come in, you put a tea house there. I mean, you just every, an area where you just put some music on, let people read there, and it's just a great place to relax. I, I'd like more people to experience that and just to be able to go there and take their kids there and just have them run around and to just see another side of Hong Kong that that's rarely, rarely seen. There's just so much going on in that place. I'm sure we've only scratched the potential of what this place could be. It will be great for us and for Hong Kong and, and, and to be able to find that balance. And if we can do that, I think it would be well worth all the effort and the pain that we had to go through. I'm sure one day with uh, the support of the community and all the funds that are raised that uh, they will have a chance to come and enjoy the garden. But Hong Kong is forever. We want the garden to be forever. It goes synonymously with Hong Kong, created by a Hong Kong person out of Hong Kong materials and my father-in-law. He had vision.